Um, classic example is the Philippines. Um, U.S. history textbooks say that in 1899, you know, we have the Philippine-American War. We take over. We It's a colony until after World War II. And then it's, it's pretty much a protectorate of ours for a long time after. Um, Filipino textbooks, especially in the last 15 to 20 years where we've cut a lot of ties with the Philippines, so there's not that military or economic connection like we used to have. They're very clear on we were invaded, they were an occupying country, country. Um, they forced all this down our throats. Speaking of which, um, when I first started doing this research, I could order a Filipino textbook and read it because it was in an American English. Since then, they've gone back to their native language and they don't uh, have textbooks in English. It's in Tagalog at this point in time. So you can see that kind of a ch change taking place. So yeah, there's a very negative. On the flip side, after World War II, German textbooks usually praised the United States for showing up with the Marshall Plan. And there's this kind of love affair with 1950s America and Elvis Presley and James Dean and stuff like that. You see that show up in a lot of German textbooks of the, okay, we, we survived World War II. Those of us who are here now, we've got this Americanization coming in. These are all the great things that we got because of our connection with the United States.